There's a problem with modern vehicles and it's that their stock suspension is too freaking good. And when you kind of sit down and think about it, it doesn't make sense to rip out the stock suspension that companies have spent literal millions of dollars in developing and swapping in a $1,200 coilover kit when you lose a ton of functionality of what makes that system so good. Fortunately, however, companies have started to come around and make some aftermarket solutions so you can still get a lower ride height and even some adjustability while maintaining a lot of that electronic damping and other different modes that you can put your car into without having to buy cancelers and spending even more money. One of them is sitting in front of me right here. This is the Haas or height adjustable spring system from KW Suspension. We have one of these kits right here we're gonna be taking a look at today. Unbox and going over everything you can expect if you go and pick up this kit for your car. I'm Gels from Martini Works Unbox. If you're looking at getting car parts for your car, you can do all that over at martiniworks.com. And we're here to show you exactly what to expect if you pick something up like this for yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything out of the box here. We got a nice little envelope. I think it's got some secrets in it. It's all in German, so I don't know exactly what it's in here. It feels like instructions. They got a nice little envelope for your instructions. I thought there was gonna be like a cable or something in here, but it's not. Now, lowering springs. This is a lowering spring kit. It's kind of funny that you get a spanner wrench with your lowering spring kit. And that's because what this kit essentially does is converts your OEM strut into a coil over system. We're gonna go ahead and get all this foam out of here and take a look at what we all got going on here. So right away, we got the bright, iconic colors of KW Suspension, which is that yellow and purple color. This looks freaking awesome. We got uh, some springs here, we got some helper springs, we got some perches, and then we have what pretty much makes this kit right here, which this is going to be our adjustable lower mount, essentially, that you're going to slide over your stock strut. So we're gonna go ahead and set this off to the side for now. See what else we got going on in here. If there's anything else we need to talk about, just kind of pull it all off to the side. We got some new bump stops. Basically everything you would need to convert a shock or a strut into an adjustable coil. All right, so here we have everything pretty much out of the box. Let's go ahead and kind of get this laid out in front here. So here we have some helper springs. We have our mounts that we can adjust to make these adjustable. We've got some other plastic components, I'm sure for sound insulation and all sorts of other good stuff, bump stops. We of course have our new springs. This is going on Lars's 2021 BMW M5, which, does have a true coil over type suspension front and rear. Now, this is available for cars that have independent uh, springs and struts in the rear as well, but for Lars's car specifically, that is how this is going to run. So we have four of these sleeves essentially that are going to be adjustable so you can adjust your ride height, which is something that typically you've never been able to do with lowering springs before. So this is a super cool system. This isn't the first time that this has been done, but I will say KW has taken a lot of time in perfecting this setup. They're known for making some really, really high quality suspension, especially coilover kits. So they spent a lot of time and research in developing this system for modern vehicles. Now, as far as adjustment on these, uh, from the research that we've done and from what we've read around online, you can expect anywhere from a 0.2 to 1.2 inch adjustability range as far as drop uh, around the vehicle. And of course, depending on which vehicle you're going with. So it isn't a huge uh, amount of difference or variance that you're going to be able to adjust it, not like a typical coil over system, but it is more than you've ever been able to adjust before with a set of lowering springs, which I think is pretty cool. So you can still maintain all of that functionality from your stock suspension. When you look at a lot of vehicles coming off the line nowadays, it is really kind of a nice thing to keep because you don't want, you know, your coilovers at like full race mode all the time. Being able to switch it just by pushing a button or two on the inside is actually a really nice feature to have. And when you swap that out with a complete set of coilovers, more times than not, you're going to lose that functionality and you're gonna to have to more times than not too, spend some additional money to either cancel out that system so you don't throw a check engine light or something like that, or have to buy something else to get it to work properly. Where this, 
you don't have to do that. There's a nice alternative for that if you want to keep that functionality, still be able to adjust your ride height to what you like, and of course, get a little bit more performance out of things. Now, the springs themselves are a chrome silicon steel. It's typically what you can expect out of any KW coilover system. And these spring rates, depending on the vehicle, are tailored for each vehicle that these systems are developed for. And these have been either figured out through running the cars on the Nürburgring or going through KW's specific test rig that they have built. It's like a seven post test rig that they can put a vehicle on and run it through pretty much any test that you can imagine as far as it comes to like testing out the suspension of a vehicle, figuring out what works well. So the spring rates are predetermined. They have kind of gone through and chosen what they think is best for each vehicle. Um, and I honestly trust them. They've been doing this for a long time. They've made some really high quality suspension components for some high quality cars out there. So I trust that they know that what they're doing when it comes to spring rates for their aftermarket components. Now, typically one of the benefits of going with a lowering spring versus a coilover is the fact that you're not spending as much money. Now, that's kind of where that gets shaken up a little bit when it comes to the Haas system from KW. This isn't a cheap system by any means. You're talking anywhere between 800 up to $1,900, depending on the vehicle, for a set of lowering springs, which may sound a little bit crazy, but again, you're getting so much more than that. You're getting the whole entire kit that can convert your stock suspension into a coil over system. And of course, with some of the vehicles out there, they do require a bit more than what we have here, maybe in terms of some electronic controls or things like that to help uh, with swapping out this system completely. And that does unfortunately come with a bit more money. So something like the Aston Martin stuff out there, if you're running this setup, is gonna cost a bit more than the BMW setup right here. This kit specifically, I believe runs anywhere between $1,200 to $1,300, which again, can buy you a nice set of coilovers, but you are ditching a lot of that OEM functionality that a lot of people do tend to like with those cars. Overall though, I think this system is really cool. It's really unique. I think it is a great alternative as as more and more vehicles are coming off the line with these types of adaptive suspension technologies that I have actually come to like quite a bit. Uh, even my wife's FKA Type R that has that, uh, we have grown pretty fond of it and have actually been looking more along the routes of a lowering spring instead of a coilover. So if you can get the benefits of the height adjustment to help dial in your fitment to what you want it uh, with a lowering spring while being able to maintain all that OEM stuff, I think that's a win-win. Of course, that does come at the cost of a higher price point, but you are kind of paying what you get for there. And again, you're getting pretty much all the functionalities that you would out of a coilover system, just not going with an entire swap. So KW Haas system, very, very unique. It's very interesting. We're very excited to test it out for the first time when we throw these on Lars's car. He's gonna be taking this car to Road America. He's gonna be doing all the stuff that you would with a high-end performance car. So we are gonna be putting this stuff to the absolute test. So if you wanna see that, make sure to follow along, make sure to subscribe and make sure to check out the other socials because we'll be posting updates on there very, very soon. But of course, if you want to check out the KW Haas system or height adjustable spring system for yourself, see what options are out there for your car, or maybe you just want to check out suspension options in general, you can do all that over at martiniworks.com. We're going to get to work throwing these in Lars's M5, so I got to, you know, get to work on all of that. So you can check out all that over at martiniworks.com. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us a message. We will see you later. Peace.